Hello everybody, it's Peter the Rock. It's uh, Friday afternoon, about uh, uh, quarter past, half past four. I'm at the south side of the HS2 viaduct, hoping to get a better view. The complication is that because the viaduct curves, I think quite significantly, um, from uh, looking from this point of view towards the left, over there, towards that pylon, in fact, um, you <laughs> there is nowhere that really gives a great view. This side of the viaduct is a bit closer than over on the north side, where I was over there um, in earlier videos. But because the the viaduct is curving away from me, that uh, makes it equally um, close to observe. Now in my previous video um, I observed the cross member, the front cross member, uh, the very large orange-red uh, piece of uh, steel that's towards the front end of Dominique now, uh, made its way uh, towards the next uncompleted pier. Um, now this pier here, in front of me, with the two orange men in its at the bottom of its V, is number 18. Uh, so 17, 16, so 15. Uh, the big cross member has landed on pier uh, 18, 17, 16, 15, by my calculations. Um, I think, you know, I, I don't know if they actually use numbers for peers, and I imagine that it, uh, people are controlling this project, numeracy is quite a useful uh, ability to have. Um, uh, the, of course, the exciting thing is the segments lined up along, uh, along the viaduct so far, ready to be installed. This one in quite near me now is um, it's a fairly typical, typically medium-sized segment. You can actually see, if you look closely, uh, on the existing constructed um, viaduct uh, where, the, where the segments fit. I mean, they're each about ooh, eight foot wide as I look, so they all seem to be about the same width. But of course they are significantly different in terms of weight because they're all completely different depths and they're all manufactured uh, apparently not very far from here um, and of course they're designed and manufactured to fit each other perhaps with a, a, a dab of Loctite or other similar glues are available um, and that's the whole point behind you can't see it really from here now but there's a yellow cage that often goes down to one face of the two sides that are going to be united and I think they sort of dab a bit of glue on and that's why uh, there are boys with a rope attached them all around the bottom of the viaduct in case they drop any glue or oil or a sandwich or something into the <laughs> into the lake and get accused of polluting the local area which they don't want to do because they, they're very conscious uh, that uh, PR is an important aspect of it. I don't think you can win an award for you know the best viaduct constructed this year something like that which is a shame because you know people get Oscars for sort of talking a bit in a film um, and this seems to to me, to my mind, to be a little bit more significant in some ways, in some ways, maybe not so heart-wrenching <laughs> as some uh, Oscar winners. Uh, uh, I, I can't bring myself to watch the Oscars. They go on. Well, I don't think even, they're even tele televised. Do we televise them? I don't know. Um, or the Eurovision Song Contest. It's just a sort of jamboree of. Uh, of luck, if you ask me, uh, but then you didn't. But there, there is a bit of 
messing about with this pier going on. And I think they, they were also doing that about a fortnight ago. So there's trouble at Tup Pier, as we say up north. I've been up north, I used to work near Rochdale, Castleton. Oh yes. Um, I work for a company called F.W. Woolworths. Ever heard of that? Or Woolies, everybody calls it. And uh, I wasn't on the uh, sweet counter, I was in an office. And all my friends up there were uh, from, they were local. They were local to Rochdale or nearby. And uh, I think my, my team leader was a chap called John, I can't be sure about that. But he, as, as he put it himself, he used to play in brass band. <laughs> you don't really want to know that. But he had, the Queen came up to open the uh, Manchester, the, 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 the old Queen, I suppose we have to call her now, came up to open uh, the, uh, some tram system, might have been Manchester, I can't remember now. But um, John had to take the day off because he was playing in brass band to welcome the Queen. I do apologise to my northern listeners for my accent, which is really, really bad. But, um, you know, you've got to, you've got to try. You've got to try. If you want an Oscar, you've got to keep working at it. Um, anyway, so um, I was hoping that we, once that front girder moves to where it is, uh, the whole of Dominique might follow it. But this is a great unknown. Would it happen now, in the next 10 minutes, in the next hour, in the next 10 hours, this week? I just don't know. So here's a quick view of some vegetation. This is what I have to go through to film. A fisherman over there, he probably doesn't want to be filmed. Um, so there we are, that's probably it for today. I'll see if I can get a better view. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Peter the Rock, um, it's uh, Friday, uh, the 31st of May, and the time, let's have a look, is, is 4.45, for those of you interested. So they're still working quite hard. They, they seem to work till about 6 o'clock. I mean, it's quite hard work, this. They do seem to sort of hang around a bit, but that's what happens on building sites. Little, little bursts of, little flurries of activity now and then. Um, Thanks a lot for watching. Peter the Rock. Friday. Like and subscribe. Cheers.